Hello everybody, today I am going to show you how to write the microcontroller programs using Keel Microvision 3. So initially I have to create a folder in the D drive which I have already done and I have created a folder with my name. So next thing what I will be doing is I will open Keel Microvision 3. Next. I will start a new project and under the same folder, inside the same folder, I will give a project name. And save it. So once I save it, I get an option to select an IC. So I will choose Atmel IC. AT 89s52 and I click on OK. Once I click on OK, next thing I will be creating a new file, file, new file, and I already have a written program with me. So I'll be pasting that program over here. So this pre, uh, program basically transfers the data intern, in the internal memory from 30h to 40h. Next, I will add this. Before this, I will save the program file, save as and I will save it in the same folder with a different name. But then extension has to be .asm because it is an assembly level program. You save it. Once you save it, you add to the source group. So you right click on the source group add files to source group 1 and then select files of the type .asm and here you will get your program prg2.asm the file name which you have saved here the same program you will have to add and then close so once you close you will get the added program under the source group 1 so once you have done that the next thing what you will have to do is translate the program once you translate, you will get to know how many errors and warnings are there. Next, you build the target. So once you build the target and you have no errors and no warnings, you can debug the program. You can start the debug session. So here, you will have to type the address, the address location 30H. So D colon 30H so this is the address of the internal memory and here have, I'll have to give the data so modify memory at D30 so here I'll be entering the data 55H so since the data is in hexadecimal you'll have to place an H next to it next 66H ok so similarly you can give the data here so modify the memory location 77H so since my program is to transfer 5 data bytes So once I enter the data, I have two options here. Either you can go to debug and run, so that will give you the entire result. Or you can go to each step, you can check each step by pressing F11 on the keyboard. So here, just to simplify, I will just run the entire program. So running the entire program will transfer my data from the location 30H to 40H. I have my data here. Thank you.